YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're doing the top three tweaks of the week. The first one we're going to, well, actually the first couple we're going to look at go together. And these are called Better 5 Icon Dock and Better 5 Column Home Screen. And you're going to have to add a repo to get these two. That repository will be in the description, so don't worry about that. Just check down there to get it. And all those two tweaks do, guys, adds a fifth row of icons to your home screen and adds a fifth icon in your dock. So you're just taking advantage of more screen real estate is all it boils down to. Rather than having four icons in a row, you got five. And that's pretty much all that does. The next one is probably one of the uh, many reasons that people jailbreak now call reach app and what this is it's a split screen multitask app and this would be even better shown on the iPad however I don't have access to my iPad currently but I can still show you how this works and all it does I have it I have it set up to a uh, pinch activator so I'm going to open my settings app and this is what reach out split screen multitasking looks like and if I pinch all corners you see I get two screens now I can reposition this one down here from the bottom just by grabbing the little grabber down there and going up or down and that that grabber is a little bit finicky and reach out to is going to be in a special repository and I'll have it linked for you too but for some reason it's re it's popping full screen every time now and that's not what it's supposed to be doing so let's try opening up a different application and see if that maybe has something to do with it uh, so if we open up this jet note here and if we go in here and pinch this now if we try we can reposition the size of the screen and then if we go up to Facebook maybe let's just open the clock app the calendar so in here you see you can still look at your calendar app and you see right there I'm actually changing the days of the week and here again I can reposition it if I wanted it bigger which it probably needed to be a little bit bigger in order to work but you can still use this bottom down here it works just fine you see I can change and still interact with either screen and it's a very awesome app or tweak and it works with uh, any app any device that has the reachability uh, application on it or, or feature on it but if you don't have reachability you can actually install it on like the iPhone Five and still use activator to act to to invoke this and it will still work but I will say this the uh, older devices are not going to run this very well because even on the iPhone 6 it's a little glitchy but on the iPad Air it runs very very smooth on that 2 gigs of RAM so the more RAM you got the better it's going to be so that's called reach app the next one we're going to look at is called circle icons and you can change your icon shape from rounded corners to circle icon and I'm not sure if that requires a respring it yes it does and all this is guys is you see my icons are now round down through here and some of them they're changing up here now because I put it to rounded corners so if they've all changed so if we go back in here and change circle icons back to circles, now they're going to go back to circles, okay? Which that's, to me, it looks, looks a lot better in circles. All right, that's called circle icons. Next one is camera modes. This was one of my favorite tweaks because I really enjoy taking photographs, that kind of thing. And I never was much of a user of the square mode or even time lapse and panorama. So you see I have those features completely disabled and to disable one if it's up at the top you just pick it up and drag it to the bottom and then when you open your camera mode 
you'll see right here at the bottom I only have slow-mo photo and video and that's what that was referring to it takes away the others that you didn't use so that's a very awesome little tweak and it's free the next one is called Kabbalah I think that's the correct way to pronounce that and Kabbalah if we go in here to Cydia and see what it says about it, Kabbalia, it replaces the recent contact list in the app switcher with a useful row of switches. So rather than having the favorites up there at the top, now you have some different toggles and you can actually change some of those if you need to. Um, if you go in back into settings and go to Kabbalia, you can change those switches to be whatever you wanted if you wanted to put your brightness up here and have it in first position and uh, auto lock say in the second position and now when we go to our multitask you'll see that well, that's exactly what we have if I tap the brightness up here at the top it will actually start the brightness I can turn uh, airplane mode on and off by tapping that do not disturb and you can get locked and all sorts of things your cat your uh, torch app and it and all that's up there that's called Kabaya all right the next one is called repower and to me this is probably one of the most useful tweaks that we can have it allows us a way to respring reboot all at one place so if we hold down our power button we get we go, we're going to get three options now slide the power off reboot and respring and before we install this tweak we didn't have any way of respringing at all and that's probably one of the most important things that you could have as a jailbreaker to be able to respring the next tweak we're going to look at is called notification killer and what it does is allows you to dismiss your notifications by simply long holding on the notification section of your device and if we go here to notification killer you'll see what it is I'm talking about if I pull down my notifications and go over here to notifications now if I long hold on notifications you see it's going to dismiss all those at one time all I have to do is just tap OK and they're all gone that's notification killer okay another notification tweak one tap clear all right and one tap clear does just exactly what you think it would do it allows you to clear all of your notifications just by tapping one time and since we already cleared everything at once by long holding they work pretty much the same way it just depends on which one you want to do if you want to do them all at once or by each individual tweak uh, one tap clear lets you tap each one individually note the notification killer kills them all at one time next one we're going to look at here is called cash clearer cash clearer and this is in the ryan patriots repo uh, and i'll have it listed below as well it allows you to actually speed up your device quite substantially by clearing the cache in different applications such as say your Facebook app your Twitter app any app like that you can close it you can clear your cache uh, it will actually improve the speed of your device by using that that's a really awesome tweak to have cache clear the next one we use is one I uh, get a lot of questions about. It's called Date in Status Bar. And as you can see here, if you're on the inside of the device, uh, there's really no way of seeing the date unless you have a tweak such as this installed. And I get more use out of this tweak probably as much as any other one I use. So if you're like me and always need to know the date for some obvious reason, then uh, that uh, that would definitely help you out on that side the next one is called disturb me later and this is a pretty awesome tweak it allows you to actually decide how long you want do not disturb enabled on your device and all you have to do is just enable do not disturb manually with a single tap 
on the dis on the do not disturb button as you would typically by going down here and tapping it one time now you see that it's on up here at the top uh, whenever you want to actually manually turn it off with, with a timer it uh, it will uh, remove it itself by by long holding disturb me later and enable the tweak and now whenever I come in here and long hold I get a pop-up that allows me to set however long I want in hours and minutes and it will actually enable do not disturb for the length of time that I put in there so it's a pretty awesome little tweak guys so guys there are several awesome tweaks hope you enjoyed them don't forget to hit that subscribe button share this with all your friends and keep coming back